In this video, we are going to see that how can you schedule a Zoom meeting. So this is the Zoom app. Uh, there are two ways to schedule a Zoom meeting. One is through a Zoom app and the other is through the zoom.us website. So first of all, we would be seeing in the app and then we would be moving on to the website to see how can we actually schedule a Zoom meeting. So to schedule it on the app, you can uh, see that there is this schedule option. You can simply just click on this. Uh, first of all, there is a topic that has been given to you. You can enter any topic that you like. Then you can choose the starting date and starting time. Now this has to be of the future as you can see today is 30th March. So this data is marked and all the rest of the dates are blank. That means we cannot go into the previous dates and schedule the meeting there. So let's just uh, choose a date from the future. Let's say 7th of April. Okay. Uh, the time you can just choose any time. I'm just going with 2 p.m. And then you need to select the duration. So since this is a free version, the duration that I can set is up to 45 minutes. So I can just set a 45 minutes duration. And then I will get a message like this that Zoom basic plan has a 40 minute time limit. Uh, so if you want unlimited meetings, you need to upgrade. So there is a simple trick through which we can schedule uh, we can even get bigger meetings not through scheduling but through direct meetings so we will see that as well but for now let's just reduce the duration to 30 minutes uh, next if you want to set up a recurring meeting then you can just check this link but i'm not going for a recurring meeting uh, then you can just select a time zone as well so i'm uh, good with india then the meeting id do you want to generate it automatically or do you want to use your personal meeting id now the personal meeting id never changes so anyone who has once got your personal meeting id can be still able to join any of your zoom meetings if they are conducted through this personal meeting id so always go with this generate automatically option uh, rest of the settings i'm just going to uh, keep them as it is Let's just look in the advanced options. In the advanced option, I want to mute the participants upon entry and um, I want to automatically record the meeting on the local computer. So these are the two settings I want to change and then click on save. So now it will schedule a Zoom meeting and in the Google Calendar, it will give me all these information. So I can just save this information into my Google Calendar and uh, uh, that's how uh, this meeting, I would be reminded of this meeting. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.